In this video I'll be showing you how to paint Magneto for Marvel Crisis Protocol. Welcome back to the channel and it's Painting Protocol once again. So we're painting up Marvel Crisis Protocol models by the Tales of War games. Now in this episode we're going to be painting up Magneto and his metal constructs. As you can see I've actually changed his sculpt a little bit compared to the official model. I kind of took off the bits of his cape and all the metallic bits that were floating around. I didn't really like it. It kind of covered up his cape quite a bit and just kind of pinned him, as you can see down there, into the base, added the metal to the base. Um, now, as always, I've primed Magneto in khaki. I've done the metal construct bits in black. Um, that just makes it a lot easier to paint all the metallic sections. Um, but with Magneto, he's obviously going to be red and purple, so we want to kind of make sure that the dark purple and the light red kind of work on both sides. Now, I'm going to be doing most of his costume in Mephiston Red to start off with, and then we're going to be using Nagaroth Nightshade on the uh, belt, uh, um, gauntlets and the boots, and then obviously the cape is the main colour. So let's get the Mephiston Red out and start base coating Magneto. So... What I'm doing is I've got a size 4 brush uh, just as a good base coat colour and what we want to be doing is going into painting all of these bits for the legs. Now he does have this kind of stretch triangular bit here that's going to be all purple so you just need to kind of follow it all the way around just make sure you get it all in red. Obviously if you get anything in purple that's not really that much of an issue because we're going to be going over that in a minute. Now. You obviously want two thin coats um, and you just want to kind of cover all of this up. Same again on the back of his legs as well behind there which obviously with the cape flowing around it's going to be a bit harder but just make sure that you tidy all of that up. Um, and be going in there you want to obviously be doing all of this chest piece and be doing his arms up here. Um, in between each of these gauntlets there's parts of his arms that are possible to show you can see there be doing the same on this side as well and it's actually the same one as legs as well so you can just see it in there you want to be filling in these bits here and then you want to be doing basically all of his helmet um, he does have purple trim all the way around it um, so you can kind of see it there but if you do the whole helmet first and then we'll go in with the purple and then that'll just help make sure that we get all of the colours. So we'll be back once the Mephiston Red's done and then we'll uh, get on with the purple. And there you go, with the Mephiston Red we've got it all covered. Now it does look messy in places of course, but for a base coat that's not a problem. We're going to be going in now with Nagarov Nightshade on all of these parts as well as this big cape. That should tidy up any bits. Obviously, if you get any purple in some of the red sections, especially around these areas, then just go back in once again to tidy up with uh, with Mephiston Red, sorry. And all that we want to do, that said, just everything now that is your khaki colour or whatever base coat that you've uh, primed your model in, you just want to go in, Nagaroff Knight, and just cover it all in. Just going around, just be careful as you get round up to near the top part, just to make sure that you don't uh, go too much into the Mephiston Red. Again, you want to do that part, you want to go all the way up through here, on either side of these. Uh, all of this cape area and the head, including up to this part here. We're going to be doing in Nagarov Nightshade. Now the, the skin on the face that we've got up here, when you do the trim of the helmet, just try and be as careful as you can. We are going to go back over that with Wraith Bone because we're going to be using a contrast paint to do the skin um, in a bit. But obviously Wraith Bone being quite a lighter colour, you want to, you don't really want a dark colour uh, kind of contaminating the area because then it takes a lot hard a uh, lot more coverage to then get rid of it but just go around like I said Nagarov nightshade on everything including the inside and the outside of the cape and we'll do all of that and then we'll be back for the next step 
And now with the Nagroth Nightshade done, you can see that Magneto is beginning to take shape with his classic purple and red look. Now the next stage is obviously going to be washes, and we're just going to add some definition to everything. So we're going to be doing Carabob Crimson on the red, and then we're going to be doing uh, Trichy Violet on all of the purple. Now for the helmet, we're only going to be doing Carabob Crimson, and just go up to where that's the purple areas are. It's going to be too hard to try and just wash that purple line that goes all the way through. Um, as you can see, I have got some paint on the face bit. That's not too bad. We're just going to go over the wraith bone once all the shades are done. Um, so I'll do all the shades and I'll also do the wraith bone. And then we'll be on to the next step. Now that the shades have dried, you can see it's added some definition to all of the cape and his uniform. But now we need to bring the colour back up. So the first colour we're going to be using is Evil Sun Scarlet. And that is on all of the red parts and we just want to leave some of the fist and red and the shade in the background but you just want to kind of bring this all up make sure it all pops you can see there's a kind of seam that runs all the way down And now as you can see, with that Evil Sun Scarlet in, it's really beginning to pop with that red. We're going to do one final highlight for the red, and this is going to be Wild Rider Red. Now, Wild Rider Red, we're going to be doing very light highlights for this. We're going to be just on the kind of lower part, just to kind of add a teeny bit of pop. And just make the whole armour show up. You can just see it's just that subtleness but it just breaks up everything between the shades the dark red and the ever lighting red so we're going to go around like i said just hit with the highest parts on the kneecaps the leg parts just here but you want to kind of try and keep most of that wild rider red showing we'll go around and we'll get that all highlighted up now with that final red you can kind of see all of the depth and definition for Magneto's helmet as well as all of the red cloth and we need to do the same with the purple but we don't want to change purple too much because this purple is kind of what Magneto has with the shade it's dulled down a bit but we need to just bring up an extra couple of layers and what we're going to be using is uh, Zareus purple and all that we want to do is just do some really subtle edge highlights to make it a bit brighter and we want to kind of go up here along the legs you can see it's just a nice little highlight I'm going to do the same along the long patch on the wrist guards which are we've got wrist guard there the wrist guard there And for this front part, just kind of give it some extra shade. And then for the belt, you just want to do the top part along the edge. And then the bottom part as well, likewise. Just kind of keep the middle part as it is. Just add some extra colour to it. Now for the top uh, part of his cloak here, you want to just go down on the edges, highlight the top parts and just go along there and then we need to start doing the cloak itself now for the majority of the cloak we stay this side we want to keep that deep purple Nagroth Knight with the Drucci Violet shade but we just want to kind of highlight all of these edges the top parts of the edges just to extenuate the purple, make it uh, stand out a little bit. And what we do is just go over the top part here, get all the edges and highlight it all. Now obviously if you go over one part, you kind of get into the recesses or kind of 
flip, then to tidy up with some Nagroth Knight. And just go around. And just add an extra little layer of colour to all of this. And as you can see, even though we've got those edges, it still stands out a bit. The inside, we're going to be doing the same, but we're going to go along the edge. Just give it an extra colour. And when it reaches this inside bit, we'll ignore it and then go back out the other side. And then we'll do all the edges and all the raised kind of creases as well. We'll go all the way up, including all of this. So I'll kind of highlight all of that and then we'll be back for the next step. And now with that first layer on, as you can see, it just adds that extra highlight while keeping the darkness of the cape. So next thing that we want to be doing is doing one final highlight and this is Jean Steeler Purple on the capes and we're just doing these on the very edges. We want to kind of go up here and in, up here and in and then again we just want to do the very top parts on here. So just take a small little detail brush and you want to use your Jean Steeler Purple and what you want to be doing is you just want to be doing a little line in just enough so it kind of shows up a bit just little points of detail the Dream Steeler Purple is quite a thin colour but you just want to kind of add it to all of the different edges here and just add to that final little bit a little bit of detail Now for that last highlight on the robes, you can see it just adds an extra bit of colour and depth. And now before the basing, all that we've got left is the face. Now, as you can see, I've added some Wraith Bone, contrast, uh, Wraith Bone base paint. And that's basically to prep for the Gilliman Flesh contrast paint, which we're just going to put straight in here. Just let it flow all the way in. And that's all that we're going to do. It just adds that extra bit of flesh shade to the area. We don't need to highlight it. And that is Magneto done. So what we're going to do, we're going to get him based up, paint up all of his base, and then we will be back at the final result. And there's Magneto in all of his glory. Now for the metal constructs, I didn't manage to get to record these bits, but basically base coat in lead belcher, wash with agrax, weather with typhus corrosion, riser rust, and then add some rune fang steel. And basically that will give you a nice rusty, metallic, dirty look. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button. Check us out on Twitch on Wednesdays and Fridays for our streaming protocol and take care and we'll see you in the next one.